Uh, we are here today at the Film for Peace conference at the Institute of Cultural Diplomacy um, in Berlin. And I'm here with Matt Sweetwood, who is an American filmmaker, and also Jörg Zinke, who's the president of Showcase Recording Studio. And thanks again for uh, the entertaining and very informative um, talk you gave. And we're going to follow up some more questions. Um, so the theme of the conference is Film for Peace. And what are your thoughts on the use of film for promoting peace? And is this an effective medium or are there drawbacks of it? And as an artist, or as artists, how would you best go about promoting peace? Um, I would definitely argue that it's, it's uh, the per almost the perfect medium for uh, peace, uh, building bridges, uh, giving new perspectives on, on people's cultures and lives uh, because we know the medium, uh, there's new technologies, that means people are familiar with cameras, but uh, to, to actually see and to hear stories at eye level and to be able to to present those, whether it's online, YouTube, or in the TV or in the cinema, um, if you if you recognize that power, you can you can use that to create a, a a new understanding. Because we have this packaged reality, whether it's film, what we see on TV, which is art, maybe, but now we have this sort of reality TV or this new medium or a new genre that's forming, which is uh, the guy with the camera, the guy with the iPhone. And I think that if we use that responsibly, we could we could tell stories that will create understanding. So I think film is maybe one of the one of the best, actually. But there are drawbacks. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think so too, because a film is what everybody can understand. It's easy to consume and um, it's also dangerous, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you speak from film, uh, that means you, 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 there are two different kinds of films, documentary, like he does a lot, mm -hmm. and also um, a film, they are made by, for example, by, by people who demonstrate for things, to show political incorrectness, mm -hmm. yeah, but also to manipulate people, you know. So um, I think film is a reality, and peace and war are reality, and um, I hope that uh, peace will win. <laughs> the good should always win. And we should use more of the film um, to get to peace. Yeah, one of the drawbacks um, might be in, in this flood of uh, possibilities, or we talked about this uh, hmm. earlier, the filter being filters that we, we now as an audience are, are forced to filter out uh, this, this huge enormous amount of, of ideas and opinions. And, th and this is something that you have to take into consideration. So whereas before you had the news and that was it and people still watch the Tagesschau here in Germany and they get their version of the reality and then that, and that's it. I, I think that when I first moved to Germany, I, I, I got to watch um, you know, BBC and then here's CNN, then the local news, and then along came Al Jazeera. I was like, here's one thing happens and then you have four different versions of it. Mm -hmm. uh, when you live in one country, you kind of get the one version of, of how things are uh, being told. So now we have a very democratic medium, which means, you know, we have, you know, look on clicks here. This video has a million clicks. Well, does that mean it's more true than the other that only had 500 clicks or something? So, so how do we know that? Mm -hmm. So I guess in the same time that it's very, it could be, obviously it can be used uh, for, for this soft diplomacy or also this idea of, of build, building bridges, which I talked about, but, um, yeah, how do we know? How do we know as an audience, or how do we know as a watcher that, that we're getting that the, the the truth on that? So it, it is it is complicated because uh, when you project something, you stand there as the the voice of truth, and um, or your perspective, an artistic perspective. So there's a lot of it's it's still growing, it's still developing. I think. Yeah, I, I really agree reality. with you. Um, you also look at history itself. Propaganda was like one of the film was one of the big propaganda tools, yeah. and so you have to be careful with um, that sort of thing. So, cool. And Lini uh, Riefenstahl, for example, yeah, exactly. she's the yeah. that's yeah. the Berlin Ali. She just had a documentary. They put out a uh, very interesting how she was right there, and then her argument that uh, she didn't know, and then it took her going to see what was happening, and mm -hmm. then she sort of changed her story. But she was instrumentalized, and then it's it's always. The question that I think now it's just about responsibility. That when you start filming, when you point the camera, whatever it is, is, is the same with um, whether you make a, a video or something that you that you really think about. What am I doing this for? And mm -hmm. being responsible. Awesome. Um, yeah, and you talked about the differences between German American filmmaking. Um, 
the gap between cultures. How can film like bridge the gap exactly? How do you think it can bridge the gap? <laughs> as, a, as a as a more of a music producer, but he produces films and and, and he's he's. Uh, yeah, we work together at, on yeah. uh, some films. We did uh, image films and uh, for our the, last documentary. Yeah, too. our last documentary. Um, it's the key is uh, tolerance. So when you don't speak a language, when you're not born in this country, you have to, you don't have to, uh, hard for me to explain the word, <laughs> I miss it. Uh, what I mean is um, humans um, interpret, 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 yeah, right. interpret yeah? things what people say always. When we don't do it, we are autism, you know, mm -hmm. we are uh, something wrong with our brain. And so when you work with uh, American or other culture together, you don't do it. Uh, you don't have to do it. Just uh, let the words there and don't uh, feel too much about the words and feel um, uh, much and interpret so many things and, and never bad things. Always good. Mm -hmm. uh, when you work with, with cultures together, I think it's always good. Also when we work together, sometimes you get crashed because you think I'm, I make fun about him, you know, and I say sorry. Did I say sorry? <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, because um, it's hard, his culture is so different from my culture. It's uh, and uh, when you be when you are tolerant, you you will know it, and, and then you can work really good together, and you can be inspired of his way of working. Mm -hmm. um, it's totally inspiring to me, and I hope my way of working also ah. for him. Yeah, he uh, definitely. Uh, this is this is sort of like embracing the differences it's a, it's a it's a way of thinking and i think that's it's it's a it's a paradigm shift in your mind that okay i'm going to embrace everything that's different than me and try and create something so the process of working with someone who has uh you know all those experiences uh at first there's uh, like in a relationship it's difficult to figure out exactly how one works and the other i think that uh, american filmmaking perhaps is slightly different than german filmmaking but uh, that's not the point. The point is, uh, uh, are you able to, uh, and I'm just talking about the filmmaking process right yeah. now. I mean, films, what's being projected is something else, but I think what's interesting is the fact that uh, when you're bringing different talents together and different people together and different workflow, already in this process, you're able to create all these possibilities for understanding, possibilities for changing uh, the way that what we know about each other. In other words, Film is very collaborative, so therefore, by its very nature, it's, it's the, you have the possibility of collaborating in a, in a positive way. So already the making of a film can be a channel for peace. Sometimes I worked with uh, youth video uh, empowerment. I've written grants and, and worked with young people in high schools. Also, when I was in the States for projects of just getting kids together to work on a film project, because there's so many different jobs. How do they do it? How do they work together? Mm -hmm. And then what are they telling together as a story? So they create a common voice. And, and if you look at the, uh, the Abspann, the, the credits of any film, sorry, my no, it's, it's more, it's more German, you'll see that the, the uh, it's always amazed me. I'm, I always sort of get a proud moment when I see the credits of, of a bigger film like here, or even with Beerland, and think about all the conversations and all the ways that we found the common way mm -hmm. and to say, let's try it like this. Are you part of the solution or part of the problem? Yeah. And, 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 that, and that the film is a symbol of, of all those uh, coming together, and it's for me. And then obviously when it's a when it's a good story and it moves people's hearts and it can sh it can show things we didn't know then obviously the film itself is a always a, a channel for peace or it's it's also um, I think um, when you work together with uh, with American you, you said uh, German American um, it's really uh, dangerous to describe a culture yeah I think it's really dangerous but uh, sometimes um, you have to look what um, he has what he makes him strong, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes um, it's important in, in the land you were born if you if you are proud on your nationality or if you, um, um, it's hard to describe mm -hmm. cultures and it's not good, but um, you have to, 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 to get the, the human and not the culture. You have to see the, the human mm -hmm. and you have to talk with him and have to, and maybe you see similarities to other humans from this country, you know? And um, it's really interesting. I think when you are born on different places, yeah, everyone is individual. But uh, you can see a little bit that they have um, another self-understanding from each country, mm -hmm. you know. 
And what I like on, on, on him, um, for an example, for, for Americans, um, he is always sure in what he does. You know, uh, if he wants to make something, he has an um, idea in his head. It's really difficult to understand for me. I always sit there and mad. <laughs> but you can trust him and he is uh, strong, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, me, I, I was born in, in, in German and the Germans are a lot of insurance <laughs> and a lot of uh, um, uh, finance and, and a lot of uh, structure and not so creative, but I don't want to describe <laughs> cultures. At least <laughs> <laughs> so I can, because it's my culture, I can do it. Yeah. And... Um, for me, uh, I don't have the strongest. I try to explain people uh, more and I talk more than him, I think. Uh, or maybe you talk the same because you like to talk about it. I, but um, this is um, a different I recognized. Yeah. And maybe it's, it's, uh, you can put it over to other... You have to see purpose. what's best for the project and, yeah. and see whose who's talent for that. It's about creating a, a team or, or yeah. but yeah exactly the getting over this hurdle of this is the right way of doing it maybe this is the most effective way but I think every film is a, has a different creative process there are some similarities there's a there's a basic way of going about it but um, whether it's a music video or an image film or a documentary you have the same tools you know it can be misleading it has camera this that the editing but you have to sort of be open to change <laughs> because actually to make the story about beer is going to be different than making the story about Christmas, actually. Uh, there will be less drinking. Maybe it will be drinking glue wine instead of beer. Uh, but to do a music video and then to, to, to do something else in yeah. image film <laughs> is a different way of thinking. But yeah. it's, this, it's weird. I think as an, from an audience point of view, it's the, they just see the film. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. So you have to change yourself. <laughs> and we raise a slider. <laughs> I always raise the slider on the top because I'm two meter and ten, the, you the know? Slider is there. And, yeah. and he when comes and look at the camera. camera. Oh, the slider should be on the button. <laughs> you know, and you always like this point of view, and I always like this point of view. <laughs> this is also different, but it's not culture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So obviously both of you have had a lot of experience between multiple artistic mediums, um, sound, music, and film. Is there any one of those that sticks out more for uh, being able to promote cultural diplomacy? Which medium is uh, what, what, more... I mean, I mean, it's dangerous to say which one's better, yeah. but which one sticks out to you is like maybe the most useful or in your opinion? So it's yeah. kind of a hard question. Yeah, of course I'm going to be biased, and, uh, uh, but the film uh, process, but I think that these, um, actually, I might have to change my answer and say that I think music to me has always been fascinating. I play music, we play music together when we have the time, obviously we have our, that it speaks to the soul. I think that the music is a language in and of itself that's mm -hmm. international. It's like, a, it's like a language, I think. I mean, my kids ask me, where does music come from? And how do you, you know, these mm -hmm. kind of things. So yeah. I think in a lot of ways, I may be wrong, but I think mm -hmm. that uh, a song that, that really gives you the goosebumps or that, that can move you in a lot of ways, we all listen to the same music around the culture. Mm -hmm. In fact, so you're listening, your ear is open to a different, you're receptive. It's like it's the, it's the fifth sense or whatever, sixth sense mm -hmm. or whatever. It's something like that, and for me, that's why I think music could have uh, some, some, some. Uh, what do you say, sort of like a, the, the Ethernet, like the, 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 the fast way of getting to the soul of people. Yeah. Whereas, whereas film, it's, it's so complex that you, it's more uh, in your head. It's uh, you need to interpret, interpret Whereas when you listen to something, it's, you're, you're hearing something and it's, it's changing in a different way. So maybe uh, through music, uh, is some area to to explore. I don't know. What yeah. do you think about that? I also think in our, when I watch movies or film, um, I think uh, about the guy behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. in music, I, I don't do it. But it's you can't. Um, Henry Ford said, um, <laughs> "The money you spend for commercials, for example, you know, fifty percent you lose, mm -hmm. and fifty percent percent is really necessary, but you don't know which." You know, so this is the same with music. You can have a good song and you can have a good message and, and you reach nobody because you don't know uh, how to promote it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Or the, how to uh, reach the right yeah, people, how, all to get, the, how to get it heard. All the kids mm -hmm. today, they just listen to the, the words and the chorus and they jump to the next song, you know, so on, on their mobile. Uh, also, this it's easier is, to share. Yesterday we had, had these kids uh, there in the studio mm -hmm. and it was really cool and we played them really... Um, tricky um, um, German music, 
with a German artist, a really nice artist, uh, Philip Omlaw, and they was totally impressed. You know, they stand there and they clap and scream. You know, we just hey, what happens? You know, this is you listen to 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 but, rap and to yeah, it's not their because music. they they heard it real played yeah. with a good sound in the studio, and so you see in their eyes they like. So if you got the possibility to reach them real with music, then music mm -hmm. is a good medium, mm -hmm. I think. Okay, cool. And uh, in your opinion, what's like the greatest barrier to advancing promoting um, arts and culture in today's society? The, the the barrier to promoting it yeah, or just is is or that 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 the the things that are standing in the way of it of it coming out. I think that you have. Um, I just had a meeting yesterday with my commissioning editor for a film who explained to me. I won't go into the details or name the names, but that certain television stations uh, have still uh, agenda setting, mm -hmm. and you have to look at yourself and say. Um, do I do I put my efforts into trying to reach this this bigger audience? Like for example, Beerline had a really good uh, what's called Einschall quota. It was like two hundred eighty thousand viewers in one night in one hit. I, I had a, a a lot of audience there, and you you really think who is this for? And and that's the barrier that's in the way to say if I want to tell my story on a bigger canvas, uh, I have to go through these hurdles and confront these people and these these issues and if you say I want to upload a film on YouTube and see what happens um, then I have the pressure of promoting myself mm -hmm. uh, opening up a, a monetizing it or not on YouTube and and, and in other words um, the, the the real barriers and now I've got my film where do I where do I go with it because there'll always be some barriers that stand in the way of between you and your audience but uh, once you choose uh, you have to you have to kind of know that industry and those industries are changing. So I think, uh, to make a long story short, what I'm trying to say is, once you decide your 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 format and your 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 output or mm -hmm. which which how you're going to uh, transfer it, uh, you have to know a lot about it and become sort of an expert. So um, that's the difficult for me is the one side trying to be an artist and a filmmaker and at the same time running behind this this mm -hmm. industry and running behind all the ways that they're changing and so on, and and saying, okay, do I put my effort in this? Or I put it in, into this over there yeah. instead of just making it and knowing that it's going to get seen and and sitting back and saying I've yeah. I finished it now, it's over. It's never really over. You're always attached to your project. Mm -hmm. I think it, for film it's totally difficult, and I'm I'm impressed uh, how people make films. You know, um, um, I do a lot of commercial stuff. That means I have clients, they, they said, Jörg, uh, uh, please um, make it for me. And then they trust me from the first minute. Mm. And also with the music videos, you know, I have clients who want the product. And if you make a film like him with an idea, um, or if you write a book, uh, it's so, you have so many barriers, you know, you have to, for the time you write the book or for the time you, you work on um, pre-production of the movie, you need money to live mm -hmm. and um, uh, money comes from work and when you work you can't write and so this is a, a big problem I think a lot of uh, yeah it forces uh, people to stop because yeah. they're like oh so, this is so, too much so, I can't so do even it. it's, it's difficult to to make it and when you uh, made it you know uh, then you also have a lot of barriers again you know so, so like yeah. like copy what you said like uh, like people who, who steal it and, and put it to... to uh, uh, copyright issues. Uh, and all the stuff and all the rights. Um, for me, I choose... I think I choose a little bit more... Um, uh, uh, faulen Weg, what is this? Faulen? Lazy uh, way. The lazy, the lazy yeah. way. That um, I, I put myself a barrier um, how, how much I need for life. And my barrier Your existence. Well, for my existence. My existence is my daughter and my, my wife, my, my healthness. And, um, and, and I want to have that money um, to live good, you know, but not to be famous or I don't have these big dreams, you know. And sometimes a big dream came up to me, like, like a project. Every year is one project, like the mm -hmm. Gundaman project mm -hmm. or the opera or, or mm -hmm. the guys. And... Um, so for me, it's not necessary if people like that what I'm do because I, I like it. I think in the end, uh, it's the same. But if you're telling a story that you're, you know, that that some stories 
tell themselves, but if you're really burning to tell it, you have to be prepared what they don't teach in film school maybe, is to stay with it the whole mm -hmm. length of the film. And, and, and you're done with the film, then you show it, and then you're living with it and standing up, and I've had many, you know, I'm, I'm here, but talking to audiences and so on and so forth, that you have to have that personal um, callousness or this personal uh, armor to deal with that. And I think that uh, some filmmakers maybe have the wrong impression that, okay, I'm just gonna tell my story and then I'm gonna uh, lock myself in a room and then I don't, I don't wanna talk to anybody afterwards. <laughs> or or, or I, I'm just telling my story up to you. If it's your story, you have to be willing to fight for it or also to be willing to, to tell maybe or answer the questions what, what, what's not shown in the film, but to be able to be a, a vehicle for um, change and also to be able to take people's communities, like I said, and, and find ways to, to build them together if you want. So I see a lot of opportunities in, in, in the challenges. I would call them less barriers. Or I personally, uh, I like the challenges. and I, I'm up for a good fight, you know? I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I think it's good, actually. I think it, if it survives that, it's sort of a media evolution of sorts, that, you, that, that film, then you, you're going for it, and, and in the end, when it's there, it, it has a place and people will listen to it. And sometimes, maybe we're giving up too early and so on and so forth. So I think that it's, it's important to say, it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna fight my way through it because uh, uh, that's the way things move. If there's this, we all say, oh, there's all these problems and people are, then who's gonna stand up and, and, and push the stone over to the side, you know, if it's not us. So mm -hmm. I think uh, it's still possible. So it depends on if you look at it as a challenge an opportunity or just something that you know you have to get around somehow so mm -hmm. I think that film uh, in general filmmakers who who uh, who can go for this fight or step into the ring and I'm not always ready sometimes for certain films I'm like I can't I can't do it with this one mm -hmm. but if I say mm, I think I can pick that fight I think I can do it uh, even if it's uh, and in the end you 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 it's it's worth it yeah. But it's also really necessary for for you, I think, yeah, mm. the social environment, yeah, and also the. Um, in German, for example, I'm I'm a musician. You're, you're a filmmaker. I I also a filmmaker, but I feel more like a musician. And um, as a musician, the audience um, feel you are a sport guy. You mm -hmm. know, you have to win prizes. You know, it's like it's like a fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the voice of. <laughs> <laughs> a competition. Like this, and so is uh, the social environment, um, or the environment for the artists in Germany is um, is wrong. I think it's not good. So when I'm on stage and um, I recognize that people talk during a play, a love song or um, a sentimental song, I, I I tell them please leave. You know, I'm friendly. I just I said I just hey if you if you want to talk to your people, take your hand, make Facebook, be quiet or something like that, you know, you're right here in, in, in this room with me. And um, what I recognized after a while is um, the people are not angry with you because they they, they lose don't. respect because of, of the hypes, you know. Uh, uh, one really good thing was, <laughs> I remember, I had um, a jurist, jurist, Rechtsanwalt, mm -hmm. yeah. And a lawyer. Because, uh, a lawyer, because uh, I, got a, I got a letter and uh, some said, oh, I have to, to pay 5,000 euro for the studio because there are some costs. And I asked him if it's, if it's right, you know, and he said, yeah, yeah, it's typical. Maybe we can, you only have to pay 4,000. Uh, uh, pay it now, it was five years ago, you know. And I said to him, oh, no, no, I don't want to pay now 4,000 euro. It's uh, too much money for me. I, maybe I can uh, pay 500 every month and um, I don't want to spend my money. I need for other things, you know, um, just like that, you know. And, and he said, oh, you poor guy. <laughs> um, why don't you go to Dieter Bohlen? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I said, hey, you studied, man. What are you talking about? You know, you, you don't Dieter know Bohlen, Berlin. Huh? Berlin is not, is not culture because, uh, multi-culture because Berlin has so much good brains, you know? Berlin is multi-culture because you can live sheep here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and you can work and you can play in a lot of uh, um, uh, play playgrounds and stages and you can grow up you know so this is i think it's this is uh, i don't like so much on on being a musician in, in this country 
And sometimes um, I also talk to my wife, maybe go to other countries and maybe to live in Norway or I don't know no, if, 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 if it's there better, you know, Costa Rica, she's now in Costa Rica, maybe I, I travel <laughs> to Costa Rica soon. You're starting to learn Spanish. A friend of mine go to, to um, Metu Hub from France, oh, the wow. guy. He's right now, I think, in Bolivian mm -hmm. and he loved it. He was successful, he played for, um, in German for Bossos, mm -hmm. you know Bossos, they Boss are really Hops, important yeah, here. Yeah, and uh, after a while, he said, oh, I can't make music here. <laughs> I have to go to Bolivia. So for him, it's, a, it's, a, it's the barrier is, the, uh, is just making a, making a living out of it. Yeah, yeah. Just, to, just to, to make your, your art or your, yeah, your message into, mm -hmm. a, into a living and into being able to be heard and taken seriously. And you have to ask yourself, why do we, why do we want that? Or which, mm -hmm. which songs, which films, um, yeah, how do they... They're like children in a way. You you, you you give birth and you sort of take care of them. <laughs> and then eventually they just it's go out on their own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, no, seriously the, the, the films, uh, some of the films, it's kind of nice to see. Like, okay, I've gone through it and now it sort of does its own thing. And then you can say, it's like you're, you're raising, raising children. Yeah. Well, yeah, thanks again for uh, coming here and talking to us today. Thanks yeah. for having us. Uh, it was very productive and informative. So thank you. Thanks. Take care. Yeah, thanks. I think what's interesting is the fact that uh, when you're bringing different talents together and different people together and different workflow already in this process, you're able to create all these possibilities for understanding, possibilities for changing uh, the way that what we know about each other. In other words, film is very collaborative, so therefore, by its very nature, it's, it's the, you have the possibility of collaborating in a, in a positive way. So already the making of a film can be a channel for peace. One thing happens, and then you have four different versions of it. Mm -hmm. uh, when you live in one country, you kind of get the one version of, of how things are uh, being told. So now we have a very democratic medium, which means, you know, say, our, you know, look on clicks. Here, this video has a million clicks. Well, does that mean it's more true than the other that only had 500 clicks or something? So, so how do we know that? Mm -hmm. you know? So I guess in the same time, it's very, it could be used. getting that the, the, the truth on that so it is it is complicated because uh, when you project something you stand there as the, the voice of truth and um, or your perspective an artistic perspective so yeah. there's a lot of it's, it's still growing it's still developing I think yeah I, I would agree yeah. with um, I don't think I think the job probably really deserves film is really deserves a lot more attention
too. We take into consideration. And what I was before you had the league, and that was it. And people still watch the Bulls Tigers channel. They get mm-hmm. they get their version of the reality, and then that's and that's it. I, I think that when I first moved to Germany, I I, I got to watch. Um, A film is what everybody can understand. It obviously, can be used uh, for for this soft diplomacy, or also this idea of, of bu- building bridges, embracing the differences. It's a it's a it's a way of thinking. The key is uh, tolerance. Already, the making of a film can be a channel for peace. See, when it's a when it's a good story and it moves people's hearts, and the film itself is a always a, a channel for peace. Or... The film is a reality and peace and war are reality, and we should use more of the film um, to get to peace. Sometimes he gets scared because he thinks I'm I make a problem about him. So sorry. <laughs> and and uh, because um, it's hard. His culture is so different from my culture. It's uh, and uh, when you be, when you are tolerant, you you will know it. And then when you can work really good together and you can be inspired of his way of working, um, it's totally inspiring to me. And I hope my way of working also for him. Yeah. And, uh, definitely. Uh, this is this is sort of like. paradigm shift in the mind that I feel I'm going to embrace everything that's different and put it in and try and create something. So the process of working with someone who has, uh, you know, all those experiences, uh, at first there's, uh, like in a relationship, it's difficult to figure out exactly how one works and the other. I think that uh, American filmmaking is still actually slightly talking about the filmmaking process right now. I mean, film was being projected something else, but I think what's interesting is the fact that uh, when you bring different talents together, to create all these possibilities for understanding, possibilities for changing uh, the way that what we know about each other. In other words, film is very collaborative, so therefore, by its very nature, it, it, it has a possibility of collaborating in a Sometimes I work with uh, youth video uh, content. I've written grants and I've worked with young people in high schools also as in the space for projects of just getting kids together to work on a film project because there's so many different jobs. How do they do it? How do they work together? And then what are they trying to together explore? So they create a common world. They had um, another self-understanding from each country, you know. And what I like on 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 him, um, for example, for the Afro American, um, he is always sure in what he does, you know. Uh, if he wants to make something, if he has um, idea in his head, it will be difficult to understand for me. <laughs> I will sit there and yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, you can trust him, and he is uh, strong, you know. And um, uh, me. I was born in, 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 in German, and the Germans are a lot of insurance <laughs> and a lot of uh, um, uh, finance and, and a lot of uh, structure, and uh, not so creative, but I don't want to describe that. <laughs> 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 but I can, because it's my culture, I can do it. Yeah. And um, for me, uh, I don't have this approach. I try to explain people uh, more, and of course more than him, I think. Uh, I mean, this is really something super fun. I, but um, this is um, a bit different I look at my work. Uh, maybe it's, it's, it's you can put it over the other. You have to see what's best for the project. <laughs> yeah. Know? So we do we do try and survive as well, creating uh, food or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, exactly.
do it. And getting out of the sort of this is the right way of doing it. Maybe this is the most effective way. But I think every film is a, has a different sort of process. There are some similarities. There's a, there's a basic way of going about it. But um, whether it's a music video or an image film or a documentary, you have the same tools and it can be misleading. And I know. But to do a music video and then to to, to do something else like yeah. this, so <laughs> it's a different way of thinking. So it's it's, it's you. I think that from, from an audience point of view, it's it's it's, it's the same. You, know? but you, but you have to change <laughs> yourself. So you raised it smarter. <laughs> I always say it's the smarter of his point because I'm TV guy in film. You know, and, 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 and he comes in and he comes. Oh, so it's smarter to be on the front. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he always likes this point of view, and I always <laughs> like this point. Jump to the next song, you know. So on, on the mobile, 
uh, also Ruth. Yeah, with Sarah. Yesterday we had a happy trip uh, there in the studio. It was really cool. And we played some really um, tricky uh, um, um, German music with a German artist, a really nice artist, uh, Philip Emlers. And they were sitting in bed. You know, they stayed there and they smelled the steam, you know, and they thought it was happy, you know. They listen to, to the rap and to... Yeah, not the because music. They, they heard it real played with a good sound in the studio. Bigger audience, like for example, Bruno had a really good uh, like called Unplugged Paper. It's like two hundred 